What's up guys and welcome to this video. So this is the new 2020 CLA-250 shooting brake in Jupiter red color. And this is one of my videos from Geneva Motor Show 2019. So make sure you check out other videos and stay subscribed for plenty more videos from this motor show. So as you can see, this is very saturated color. And this is the new CLA in the shooting brake version. So the rear part of the car is different. So this particular car is in AMG line and has a multi-beam LED lights. So these are the best lights which you can get from Mercedes. On the side you can see an air duct for air to curve around the car. And yeah, this is a very, very nice car in person. I can tell you that and I'm trying to show you this on the video from every angle possible. So this car has uh, two LED stripes. One looks similar to the A-Class and one is on the lower part of the front hand lamp. So it has like a CLA shape from last gen, but in the new style. So it has a really nice look also from the side, as you can see. So let's check out the rims and tires. So this car has Bridgestone tires, Turanza T005, 225, 40 R19 and so these are the 19 inch rims so this car also has a night package black mirror caps and black alloy wheels and also black trim around the windows Mercedes badge on the front bonnet front bumper and also Daimler signature So really, this car has a beautiful shape. Uh, it has a line on the side of the car. And it has a blacked out rear windows. Also, this car has a frameless windows, frameless doors. So yeah, let's check out the back of the car, where is the main difference. So this has a, like a shooting brake, like an estate uh, rear part of the car. And it looks very agile, very sporty and also very fashionable. So this is a great way how to have a stylish car and also have a space for your everyday stuff, practicality. Because this car has a large boot space. So I will show you that later in the video, boot space. So let's check out the rear lights. So as you can see the rear lights have a special like a signature and they are like a 3D lights curving also on the side of the car so really beautiful you have a diffuser with like a exhaust tips on the lower part this is AMG line style and yeah this is like a really athletic estate shooting brake style of the car and uh, yeah I really like this. I'm not like an estate or shooting brake person. Not my favorite style of the car, but I really have to tell you that I really like this, how this looks. And I could easily uh, choose this car as my daily car. So these are the stats for the car. So this 250 engine has four cylinder, two liter gasoline or petrol engine, 225 horsepower and 350 Newton meters of torque. So let's check out the interior. This car has a panoramic roof, keyless entry. This car has a leather package inside. Illuminated Mercedes logo on the door trim. And these are the sports AMG seats. These seats you can have a, in A35 as a base seats as well. So let's shut the door. So basically this car has uh, the same interior as in A-Class as and also as in CLA car. So as you can see on the left you have a control for your lights, new steering wheel with touchpad and you control your instrument cluster with left and with uh, your right part you control the multimedia display. So at the so now I can show you a little bit of this. 
Uh, as you know, a lot of people want to sit in the car and film it and uh, see it uh, with their own eyes. So I didn't have a lot of time with the car, but still I wanted to show you a little bit of the infotainment system. So basically it's the same MBUX like we can have in the A-Class, but the picture of the car is changed to the shooting brake style car, as you will see in a moment. So you can also have a classic sport and progressive setup. So my favorite, as you maybe know, is a sport. So I set it up like this in this car. And I want to show you a little bit of the ambient light, ambient lighting. So brightness, I set it on 100% and I put a color, the multicolor uh, purple sky and also ocean blue. So as you can see, it has a lines really nice also the vents are lightened but the, but this is the demo car the show car so we turn it off after a few seconds but yeah you have you can have an idea how it looks really this is uh, next level interior for the compact uh, segment car so the shooting brake benefits from the same cabin upgrades as the new a class so you have more shoulder, head and elbow room for uh, you and for passengers because the wheelbase is 30 millimeters longer than before. So that's great. And this is a lot spacious than the last generation shooting brake. So even if you are like a tall person like me, you can fit there easily with no problem. I'm six feet and almost two inches. 186 centimeters so these are the sport seats very comfortable i have the same seats in my a class but with the dynamica in the middle this is the full leather seats as you can see from the side how this looks to display 10.25 uh, inch displays instrument cluster and the multimedia display in the middle you have charging for your iphone two cup holders touchpad these are the fully electric and memory seats. Really a uh, Burmeister sound system, place for uh, your drink. As you can see a little bit, I filmed the other guy, which was using the multimedia display. So you can see it from afar. So the new shooting brake and the new CLA, they are the same length as the C-Class, because this is a new car and C-Class is already a few years old, like uh, five years old. Uh, so yeah, this is a large car for its segment. So don't be mistaken that this is like a small car. It's not true. So uh, yeah, that's it. This is also the panoramic roof. It has a frameless door, as you can see. I really like how this looks without the frame. So we'll be very curious to see if this car is noisy the same or uh, is on the same level noise like uh, the frame door in the a-class so this is the rear side of the car rear seats of the car i have a lot of space for my knees you have a speaker there an integrated headrest so there is plenty space for even adults like me and for kids this is uh, super plenty space so no problem with this and also it really looks great to look at the front of the car from the rear seats so yeah i have a lot of leg room even though the front seat is uh, a lot far than my needs yeah panoramic roof looks great also so above my head, there is a lot of space, as you can see, for one palm. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any issue. Although, from the outside, it looks like the roof is uh, really curved, but no issue with this. So the boot is fully electric, automatic, as you can see. And it is quite large boot. It has a 505 liters, 10 more liters than the last generation of the CLI shooting brake. And also the width of the car is bigger 87 centimeters and last gen has 63 centimeters so there is a big difference so it will be much easier to put things inside and when you press 
the boot cover opens. Yeah, really large space in the boot and underneath you have also additional storage. There, there is also the subwoofer for the sound system. On the side you have like a little net space for some uh, little bits and pieces. So really this is uh, a lot wider than before, than the last generation and it's easier to manipulate and put inside things like a trolley for your kit or maybe some boxes uh, from IKEA or whatever you want to carry in the car. So really this is an amazing practical and fashionable compact car. So the first deliveries should be at the fourth quarter of this year. So between the fall and the winter time uh, this year. So price will be a little bit more than the CLA as usual. So you will have a lot of engine options such as gasoline engines and petrol engines. And in Europe you will also have a diesel options. So basically there will be engines from the A class and also from the CLA class. So yeah guys that's it for this review. If you like this give this video a like. If you have any more questions leave them in the comment section down below. And subscribe for plenty more videos from Geneva Motor Show and also other videos. So guys that's it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a great day.